That's pretty nice. You can see the back of the dam. Yeah. <laughs> Two up, New Zealand series number three. pushing it down. <laughs> I actually thought about turning the preload up just a little bit more. We do have just a bit more weight with that camping gear. Yeah. Um, haven't hit any bumps yet that are really... Jarred. Jarred. Yeah. I'll bet you know. Um, so far, so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Certainly not like the first time we got on this thing. Switch back. That's a sharp one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a windy windy road all the way back down, isn't it? Stunning. not have any footage from yesterday but we'll have plenty from today <laughs> <laughs> oh you can actually see the change in water depth on that corner yeah it's that clear super clear isn't it mm -hmm.
Yeah, it's quite a quite a long drawn out drag up this side, isn't it? It is. Compared to the climb up the other. Yeah. It was short and sharp and then you just wound around the top. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty special track, this one. Oh, yeah. Another double back. Yeah, that'd just be tricky enough coming up. Coming up, yeah. Loaded like we are anyway. I'm finding myself looking this way a little bit more. Looking? Out that side of you. Normally <laughs> I'm always looking over this shoulder. Oh yeah. But the view is out there. The view is out there. Oh, look back up the lake there. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Yeah. If you don't mind, I don't know how hard it is for you to stop on that corner up there. So, yeah. And I'll snap a picky. Sort of flattens off there. Yeah. Amazing. I'll get the back of the dam and that. Beautiful. Bad, eh? Well, out comes the glove. Oh, there's a fish jump just there. I reckon this track gets used way more by motorbikes and cars. Oh, I think so. Stunning through here in another month or so when the leaves start to turn. Yeah. These poplars and bits. Yeah, it's not like there's any um, soft shale or anything to catch it. It's kind yeah. of just, oh, we found a little bit of breeze. Yeah, there we go. Just down low enough now. The breeze blowing in down the lake. Into here? Yeah, this one is. 
to see, well the, back up, and it? see the road wind away out the other side as well. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, this is us over here. Yeah. Quite breezy down in here. <laughs> uh, this bit could be a bit interesting because oh. we've actually got to go across the river bed. I was just looking at that. So, depends on how well formed the track is. Mm. Take a side. <laughs> Take a side. Just those big chunky rocks again. Yeah. step off for you too so oh yeah all right short legs remember I know work very well. Can't hold them. No. Because the chain's not actually fixed to the damn thing. Right. the Benmore Dam right in front of us. Crazy, it's a big earth dam. Yeah. Power line zigzagging in all directions from it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, a gate. A one last gate. <laughs> This one's locked too, eh? Yep. Oh. Well, you can see where we come down. Oh, that's that cool. That big zigzag, yeah. How was that? Awesome. 
it's up there with rides we've done so far. Yeah, no, definitely. That's a that's a top of the list one. That one. Yeah, I'd put it up there with Patriarch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, South Arm. Yep. Yeah. Awesome ride. And for us, yeah, we're fully loaded. We've got all our camp gear, everything on. Um, I don't know. I didn't panic too much, so it must have been okay. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. I, I will admit, I think it probably would be a little more challenging going back the other way. Oh, yeah. Just with all those switchbacks. Yeah, those... Um, especially um, if we were, like, you know, loaded like this. Yeah. I, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much going up there as it coming down. Yeah. But again, like we, like we said earlier, I think coming the way we did gives you the better views. Oh, just to sure. be able to wind around and take in the lake all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, coming into sunny Kurel. Maybe not quite so sunny today. No. A bit overcast, but... And, and, the, wind, and the wind's blowing down here. Yeah, didn't even bother with the camera that last stretch of highway. It was just blowing. Lunch stop. Ready for coffee? What are we doing? Uh, put some wet weathers on. So apologies, there is no footage apart from this uh, through Danzies. At Kura after lunch, we sort of looked at the clouds and went, eh, it should just be low fog. And it hasn't really come to much, but Looks it's like a bit... It's going to get worse though. That's where we're going. And it's getting worse. So just changing up the layers. Waterproofs on. Uh, really pretty as we remember it this is the second time we've been through here uh, way less water in the little streams than there were you never know what you're going to get when you book online Excellent. Coffee and this room number two. We have really good facilities. I don't have too windswept for the day we've had. And have a drink and something to eat and clean down. Not sure how good you'll see the view. We're at Tussock Lodge in Waipiata, a bit of an Airbnb type accommodation. We've got separate room, really good facilities. And just thought we'd update on the map because we've filled in a little bit more of the section we haven't done today, as you've seen. So we've come down through just out of Tekapo and turned down the valley here. And we actually tracked all the way down through the valley probably somewhere along this way uh, and somewhere here we cut down into Lake Benmore uh, and then we followed the Black Forest station right down the side of Lake Benmore here all the way down into Odomatata somewhere like that uh, we stayed on the other side across to Aviemore and then cut across and back down and then the rest of the day we actually did after lunch in Kuria we turned the camera off and we came through here through the uh, Danzies Pass and then a little bit of a new loop we came across to Ramfurly and then we've cut down and we're here in Waipiata for the night. 